hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we created post review component and after this we called give review api from our angular application and in today's video we will create full stack api to get the reviews of the ad and after this we will show those reviews on the ad detail page so let's get started so in our Spring Boot application, we will open client service implementation. And here, as you can see, we have get add details by add ID API in which we are sending the add details. We need to update this method and we will send the reviews of the ad as well. And to do that, first of all, we will open add details for client DTO. And in this DTO, we need to return the list of review DTO. So we will mention private and because there can be multiple reviews of an ad so we will mention list of review DTO and we will name this as review DTO list now let's import this list class here and after this we need to create a method which will convert review to the review DTO and we will create this method in the review entity so let's open the review entity class and at the end of class we will start writing a new method and this method will return review DTO and we can name this method as get DTO and in the body of this method we will create review DTO object and we will name this as review DTO and we will initialize it with new review DTO and after this we need to set the details in this review DTO so we will use review DTO and first of all we will call set ID method and here we will pass ID and after the ID we need to set the feedback so we will use review DTO and we will call set review method and in this we will pass review and after the feedback we need to set the rating so we will call review DTO dot set rating method and here we will pass rating and after the rating we need to set the review date so we will use review DTO dot set review date method and we will pass review date and after the review date we need to set the user id which gave the review so we will call review dto dot set user id method and here we will mention user and we will call get id method and after this we need to set the user's name so we will call review dto dot set client name method and here we will mention user dot get name and after the name we need to set the add id so we will use review dto and we will call set add id method and we can get this id by calling add dot get id and after the add id we need to set the service name so we will use review dto dot set service name method and we can get this name from our add so we will call add dot get service name and at the end of this method we will write a return statement and we will return review DTO and with this our get DTO method is completed now we need to open the review repository and here we need to write a method which will return all the reviews of an ad and the return type of this method will be list of reviews because one ad can have multiple reviews and after this the JPA query will be find all by and here we need to mention add and then id and after this in the params we need to pass the add id so we will mention long add id now let's import this list class here and with this our method is completed now let's go to client service implementation and in get add details by add id method we need to go to the if block and if the ad is present then we will create list of reviews and we will name this as review list and here we will use review repository and we will call find all by add id method which we just created and in the params we need to pass the add id which we are getting from the params and after this let's use add details for client dto and let's call set review dto list method and in the params we need to pass the review dto list so we will use our review list and we will apply stream on it and after this we will call map method 
and in this map method we will call get dto method and after this we need to collect it to the list and with this the code to send the reviews of the ad is completed now we will open the main class and we will run our backend application and as you can see our backend application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's see if we are getting the reviews of the ad and on the login page i added the details of the customer now let's click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the client's dashboard now let's right click on this page and let's click on inspect to open the console and after this we will click on this console tab and after this let's click on the view button of this ad and as you can see we got redirected to the ad details page and here we logged the response of our api where we can see review dto list so let's open this review dto list and here as you can see we are getting one review now let's go to our angular application and let's write the code to show the reviews here on this page and in our angular application we need to open add detail component and we will open the ts file and in this file we will create a variable and we will name this as reviews and after this we need to go get add detail by add id method and in this after getting the response we need to update our reviews variable and we need to get the review dto list from the response which we can do by writing rest dot review dto list now let's save this file and let's open our html file and as you can see in the html file of add detail component we already created a div for the review section in one of the previous videos now let's create another div in this reviews section and we will give it a class of review card and after this in this review card div we will write ng for loop and we will use let keyword and we will name single review as review and after the off keyword we will mention reviews which is the variable in our ts file and after this in this div tag let's write a tag for the ng card and for the ng title we will show review dot client name and after this in this ng card tag we will write a p tag and we will show the feedback of the user and after the feedback of the user we need to show the rating so we will use another p tag and in this p tag we will use ng rate component and for the ng model we will bind review dot rating and at the end we will write another p tag and we will call review dot review date and we will use date pipe to format the date and with this the code to show the reviews on the add detail page is completed now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled successfully now let's go to the browser and on the add details page you can see a card which is the review of the user where we can see the client name as title and after this we can see the feedback the rating and the date of the review and now let's book this service for another time and after adding the details let's click on this book button and as you can see we got the message request posted successfully now let's click on the logout and let's log in as company and after adding the details let's click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the dashboard and we can see the latest booking let's click on this approve button and as you can see the booking status got updated now let's click on this logout button and let's log in as client and after adding the details let's click on this login button and after this we will click on this bookings button and here you can see the status of the booking got updated now let's click on this review button and let's write a review very bad service and we will rate this as two stars now let's click on this post button and as you can see our review got posted successfully now let's go to the dashboard and let's click on the view button of this ad and as you can see now we have two reviews for this ad and that's it for this video if you have any questions you can write them in the comment down below